Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again to another Smite video. Today I'm playing Season 4 with the new Clash map with Hebo. It's finally here. I was expecting it to be down the entirety of today, but it released pretty smoothly. There are a few issues that are happening at the moment, but overall, it's still playable. By the time you watch this video, it's probably all fixed, but I'm recording this on Wednesday when it's actually just released. Season 4 is out now. Those of you playing on console, sadly gonna have to wait a week. I'm pretty sure it releases next Wednesday. But, but don't quote me on that. Are we really going to have three mages? I wanted to play Hebo. I wanted to play Hebo. I had my build set out for Hebo and everything. Please. Please someone change. I'm just going to wait. And if, if nothing happens, I will switch. He's locked in Appwash. Okay. We, well, Dragner's not even picked yet. Oh, Hercules. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. We're good to go. We'll pick Hebo. Should I use the Sydney Shredder skin or the freaking Hebro? Is this Hebro? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, what skin do I use? Sydney Shredder. Sure, why the hell not? So there's loads of new stuff in Season 4. Not that much has changed from PTS. I thought a lot more was going to change, but it's actually stayed pretty consistent, I suppose. They were like, they were, there were three rounds of PTS, so they pretty much got everything sorted that they wanted to get sorted. I don't think Ranked's available yet. There are a few things that are going to take a while to be implemented, but it's available. It's live. You can play it on PC. Again, if you're on console, kind of sucks that you have to wait, but it's completely understandable because of the whole different process that they have to go through. We're playing Hebo. My stats aren't too bad. I know I'm rank 5 and I should have better ones, but I don't really play Hebo all that much. And there's a new board, as you can see in the bottom right. I haven't set that up yet. I actually got the platinum one from Joust that I should probably put on, because it looks pretty damn cool. The effects on it are really pretty, but so is the Celtic one, or the Celtic one. I still don't know how to say that. That one's pretty too. All of the loading frames are awesome. You can see the progression from, like, how they used to be and how they are now. Anyway, that's his kit. That's not his kit. That's the build. That's his kit. If you want to go ahead and pause the video and read over how Hebo works, do so now. He's ridiculous, even more so in Season 4, and I'm hoping to do well. This is the build we've got. And I know you probably think Ethereal Staff's a bit odd, but it's not the same Ethereal Staff that you're used to. Holy shit, I'm not used to playing this. Ah, oh, okay, we'll go Book of Thoth. I want Sands of Time, though. Sands of Time's like a really cool item. Sure, we'll go Sands of Time, Book of Thoth, Shoes, Obsidian Shard, Rod, not Spear. That's not meant to be there. Soul Reaver. The new Ethereal Staff, the new Kronos Pendant's on there, we got Polly, and the new Bancroft's Taloon. Hopefully this goes well, or decent at least. I don't want to have a terrible match. We've got an Ares, a Hercules, an Appwash, and a Ram. They have a Shaq, a DC'd Freya, an Apollo, a Mercury, and an Anubis. Is anyone playing together here? Okay, the Ram and the Ares are. That's pretty much it. They're going for damage straight away. I'm going to turn my volume up because I can't hear shit. Oh, is it just Shaq? I said they. It's just you, Shaq. Shaq, get, just get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> just get away from me. I'm so used to having Soulstone and using my basic attacks. It's a shame my team was so late, but obviously it did just go live today when I'm recording this video, so it's very, very new. There are most likely going to be issues in this match because it's my first match actually playing on it as well. Um, and I, I'm not surprised that people were late to lane. They probably weren't used to new items and everything, so it's understandable. I'm fucking him up, though. Has he got boots? What's he got? He's got reinforced greaves. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Damn, Hercules isn't fucking about. Oh, that would have been a kill! Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that. I goofed. At least I'm pretty... I'm doing well on mana. Holy shit. Sands of time make, make mana freaking management easy as all hell. Like, I'm not having to worry about mana at all here. That's crazy. I mean, for some reason, holding, hovering over it doesn't actually show out. I guess that's a bug because it does it with pretty much everything else. But you got freaking ult already. The new minions look cool. I already gave you my thoughts on Season 4, so I'm not going to talk about it all that much, but... I'm just going to give you guys a normal game and hopefully not suck. Because that's that's pretty much what I try to do every video. And I think we all know how that turns out. Oh, I don't have enough to ult. <laughs> I was trying to hit ult. I don't have enough mana. Just as I was talking about how much easier it is to manage mana with freaking Sands of Time. It is called Sands of Time, right? I hope I'm not getting that wrong. Yeah, it is called Sands of Time. I had to check. It's a new item. Okay, give me a break. But as you can see, we're regening mana a lot faster. If only I was there. Oh, he didn't pull anyone anyway. Never mind. Merc's beads are down, though. Yay, 77 damage. We need to start stacking or else I'm not going to be able to do anything. The new buff looks freaking fantastic. I think it's just an overall improvement. I can't see anything like that that sticks out to me that's worse. I, I just, I like season four. I don't know. <laughs> I think I made that pretty clear in the other videos I made on it. Oh, uh, is this worth it? He's probably just going to dash away. Oh, shit. I don't have enough mana. I don't have enough mana to ult. If I did, I would have ulted over to Mercury and killed him, but I don't have enough. Shit. 
That was my bad. This is going to be a really weird, weird game. So I haven't played Hebo in ages on season three. Now it's season four, so I've got to, I've got to just get used to it a little bit. This is my first match again. Freaking, it does look beautiful though. The new Clash map is pretty. I was going to do Joust, but there's no new Joust map, so why would I do Joust? I thought I might as well make a Clash video. Um, so I don't play Clash all that much, and I usually do Joust anyway. And the Joust map's the same, and Clash is new, so I thought I'd do the Clash one for the first season four video on the channel at least. The first official season four video, I guess, because I made ones on PTS. That went pretty well. Here we go. I'm not stacking just yet, but I will be soon. Is anyone else stacking? He's got Rangda's Mask, two Rangda's Masks. It seems to be a very popular item. It was in PTS, like loads of people were picking it up, and it makes sense. But I went for Sands of Time just to be a little bit safer as Hebo. I know that doesn't really make sense, but just wanted to play it safe. What else we got? Ah, has got Sands of Time as well. It's kind of the, the Mana Hungry Mage item. It's like what you pick up if you're a Mana Hungry Mage. It seems to be. Blue Stun Pendant there as well. I'm um, just checking it out. Sundering Spear from Shark. He's level 9 already. Damn. Okay. Oh, buffs here. Can I clear this? Oh, he's going in. Shit, I wasn't ready for that. He didn't warn anyone. I don't think he's going to die unless I get the 3. Never mind. Oh, that was a double knockup. The lag is really starting to get to me, though. Shitting hell. Did the Mercury just go through? Oh, I thought he went back. Never mind. No, they're not speaking English, and that's also not Spanish, so I, I don't know what's going on there. I'm going to yoink that. Shall I back? Because I can afford it. It's a thousand, isn't it? Shaq, don't fuck with me. I had to get out of the freaking shop then because I was scared that he was going to jump me. Okay. Oh, it's no, it's 1050. They must have upped it by 50 because I'm pretty sure it was only a thousand in, in PTS. I haven't seen what they changed, but from like just looking around in the menus and stuff, it didn't seem like there was all that much. There's the new Season 4 ticket, and how that works is quite weird. Um, because it's essentially divided into like three different bits. I don't know. I like the changes. I ju it's just going to take a while for me to get used to everything again. But we got Beads and Sanctuary back. Not Sanctuary. Fuck! It's Aegis. Oh no. I've been ruined. I was so used to calling it Sanctuary now. That's bullshit. I'm building stacks. I'm building sticks. We are stacking. That was a terrible impression. What am I doing? Where are we going? That was a waste of my ult. You know, I killed him though, right? So it didn't matter. Are we good? Oh, fuck you, dude. <laughs> get ruined. Apollo? Oh, I missed. I didn't get to hit him then. We're actually doing okay on health. I thought I was going to take a lot more damage there, but we're all right. Damage buff is definitely helping me. Oh, shitting hell. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Don't you fucking... Okay, 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 okay. I'm in a bad place, though. I'm really trying to live here. Okay, Ron, please. Please. Okay. Okay, we're good. I can I can relax a little bit now. Holy shit. I really didn't think I was going to live through that, to be honest. We've got shoes going already. There's the new regen animation and everything. I'm not going to, like, try and point out everything that's new, because it would just take up the whole video. But this is going well so far. Two and one. We hit really hard. We're going to start to hit even even harder as we get into the late game. I'm going to try and get as many bursty items as I can and try and get some of the new ones. That's why I went for Sands of Time instead of Vampiric Shroud. Because I want to try and show you guys some of the new stuff. Because I feel for you guys that play on console and have to watch everyone else play the new patch while you wait. It kind of sucks. But I completely understand why it's like that. Oh no. Oh, three minions. Removed! Yes! There was a huge delay on before that, like, right before that came up for some reason. It took ages to show that he was dead. They'll steal their buff. Three and one. I like Hebo. He's probably the character that suits my playstyle best just because of how silly and bursty he is. Holy fuck. Would not want to be this Apollo right now. Well, you just wouldn't want to be him. Because <laughs> he's just... I've got to say, his death animation is probably one of the best ones, though. There's two mana buffs now as well. I mean, I shouldn't be taking both of them. But still. Let's just get that gone. Oh, we deal less now, of course. Or is this buff stronger? I'm pretty sure I'm just dealing less because of the fact that the buffs have leveled up or whatever. Or is it an enhanced mana buff thing? Hold on. So, 25 mana per 5, 10% cooldown. Oh, wow. That's the new mana buff then. Okay. 75 mana per 5. So, we regen 14... No, no, we regen 15 mana a fucking second. Are you out of your mind? Why? That wasn't even hard to kill. I've got 20% fucking cooldown reduction. I don't think that's sensical. 
I don't know. Maybe is that just me? Is it, or does everybody agree that that's a little bit silly? Because that buff wasn't hard to kill, and I've now got 20% cooldown reduction. It's the same with the damage camps being enhanced. It's that little effect around them. I should have noticed it earlier. Um, yeah. I talked about it in the PTS videos, but essentially there's two different types of buffs. You get the enhanced ones and the normal ones. I'm pretty sure it's just for Clash, though. I don't know if it's for anything else, any other game mode. I know it's on the Clash, though, as we just showed you with the mana buff, and as you just saw on the damage one. That's crazy, though. That is crazy. Do I want pen? Yeah, we need pen. So stoked. So stoked. Aegis is back! I've got to do it. I'm going to probably play with Aegis for, like, the rest of my life in Season 4. Just because just just, just I have to. Just because it's Aegis again. It's, it's no longer fucking... Sanctuary. Are they talking about the Bracer? Mini Chrono Assault. That just it automatically screams Bracer to me. The Bracer of Undoing. It's the Mini Chrono Assault. Oh, that only works with health and not abilities or anything. It doesn't actually move you either. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I forget how good Hebo is until I pick him up again. Every time. Until I go against him or until I play him, I forget how strong he is. I nearly got that kill with my basic attack. I'm kind of glad I didn't because it was more of the Ramas than mine. And the Apple Ice did good too. Damn. They are getting nailed. It's 11 to 7, but it's a very strong 11 to 7. I know that probably doesn't make any sense. Yay. Did I get minions for that? I didn't know if I... I, I don't know what happened. I lagged a little bit. The FPS issue seems to be fixed. I'm capped back at 150. In PTS, I was for some reason limited to like 80. It was a little bit laggy. I know that's not really laggy, but in comparison to 150, 80 FPS is much lower. So, it's gone back up to normal, which is good. Because I, I, I did predict that that was going to happen. Is this the enhanced one? Yes. 20 fucking percent cooldown just seems ridiculous. Especially when I'm playing a god like Hebo, you know? Seems even more crazy, right? Fucking 422. Damn. I'm just gonna put that straight across just to try and annoy people. I definitely need more pen though, because he's not taking that much damage. Uh, do I want to go in here? Oh god. <laughs> he hits so hard. I don't feel like this is right. I definitely feel like this is time-based, so I don't think the serpent can spawn before 10 minutes. That was just a theory. I, I'm, it's probably in the patch notes somewhere, but I, I didn't read them, so I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure that's the last damage that will spawn there, because at 10 minutes, it turns into the serpent instead. Again, don't quote me. That's just what I'm what I'm thinking. I missed you? Really? I've got my ult level already. Oh, I tried to pick up that fucking merc, too. Oh, come on! I was predicting the Shaxx one. I wasn't predicting the Apollo. I just... Oh, I didn't use my Aegis anyway. Obviously, or else I would have lived. My bad. I beads to get ready for my Sanctuary. Because I don't think you can Sanctuary when you're silenced. Don't quote me on that. I've said don't quote me on that so often. Don't quote me on me asking you to not quote me. Fuck me. Okay. How are we not losing this, though? Because at the same time, their Mercury and Anubis and Apollo are so fucking leveled. And the Shark. Oh, well, actually, never mind. I'm level 17. I thought I was 15. Oh. <laughs> we have two level 17s. Never mind. I thought we had a level difference. Okay, so this proves my point. The Serpent's there now. So the way I think it works... The way I'm... I'm pretty sure this is how it works. Before five minutes, you get the standard buff. Five to ten minutes, you get the enhanced buff. And you'll continue to get the enhanced buff on the two mana ones. And then the damage buff from 10 minutes onwards turns into the Serpent, or the Apophis. And then 20 minutes, I think it is, or 15, it turns into an enhanced Apophis. I'm not sure the, the enhanced Apophis. I'm not sure about the timing on that one. But I'm pretty sure that's how the buffing thing works. I'm pretty sure. Holy fuck. <laughs> I dealt 500 on that. How is he not taking any damage? Oh. Oh. Protections. Okay. I see how it is. Oh, wow, you can see the model all the way down to the bottom. It ends in, like, a triangle. Eh. 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 Just fucking throwing water at it. Eh. Don't you dare. Really? That wasn't even... That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Oh, I, at least I had I mean some fucking damage, right? Oh, I didn't see the sanctuary on him until it was like... Oh, damn. That was a waste. Oh no, he's done that so many times. How did you just... Oh, he immuned the movement speed probably thing. Yeah. I thought he immuned the one and I was like, how? So, never mind. This is risky for me to stay here, isn't it? I fucking missed. Oh, I don't feel safe. I'm on my, I'm on my crocodile though, so we should be alright. There's... Wait, 270 true damage, sundering spear. I'm pretty sure it dealt pretty much the same 
as it did in Season 3 on the true damage side. It's more of the damage increase, right? Why are these- these guys are speaking English and then another language that I don't get. Or it's maybe c code language, I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know what language that is. My bad. If you do, let me know in the comments. I, I have quite a few German viewers, apparently, because there was a, a guy with a German name who was speaking German in one of the previous videos. You guys all told me what he was saying in the comments, which was quite helpful. Quite a lot of rude things that he was saying that I didn't understand, so maybe it's best I didn't know. Let's get that gone. Um, six and two. Nice. Although, Ram just had his first death. So this is the enhanced one. Okay, so it definitely stays as the enhanced buff, which I thought it would. Yoink. 20% cooldown reduction, don't mind if I do. See, the fact is, that kind of negates me wanting to buy cooldown. If I can pick up a buff that gives me 20%, why would I want to ever build cooldown reduction? It seems just a little bit silly. Where are we going? How much do I deal to this thing? Is it worth a try? How did I deal damage to that? It's so weird, I'm like lagging a little bit, but at the same time I'm not. If, if you get what I mean. There we go. See, like, my abilities have such little cooldowns. Fucking, I, do, I don't need more cooldown reduction than this. You just don't. At least I don't, anyway, when I'm playing Hebo. Pre-lose? I don't know what any of that means. I get the fate Samo Fatalis. Can we group O? Can we group and push? Okay, so I think he just added the O there for no reason, but... We'll group her. I'll say it. Hold on. No. Why am I... There's three. Why was I only doing two Vs? For some reason, it wouldn't let me do the third one. Oh, God. Should we go in? I mean, we're, gonna, we're trying to group in and push, but I don't know how much I trust the team to do that. I wanted to ult him then, I changed my mind, okay? I wanted to, and I decided not to. God damn. Okay. Had to do it, just to get rid of him. Oh, fuck's sake. Go, Hercules. Bring- oh, fuck. Okay, I thought there were gods coming from over there, but it's not. Are we diving, Phoenix? Oh, come on. Come on. No. Okay, he's gone. Oh, shit. Oh, get fucked. Get fucked. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, Freya. I know she's only level 13 and we're seven levels over, but just... No one needs to know. God, I nearly died there. Um... I don't need that. I know it gives me 20%, so if you were, if you were playing a mage, I would uh, recommend just getting this. The passive's really nice. Oh, do I want to get Kronos Pendant? I, you know, I'll do it just to try it out. I'll do it. I wanted to get Ethereal Staff and Soul Reaver. But instead, I'm going to get Kronos and Bancrofts. It's technically not a better build, I don't think. But I'll do it just for the sake of the video. Um, all these items are kick-ass, though. Other than Spear, which seems a little bit underpowered now. Are we going to win? Are they trying to win? I'm looking at the Titan up there, and I think they are trying to win. I'm just not there. Okay, victory. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take the victory. So we got eight and two. Ram went nine and one. Ares and Hercules took the um, the deaths risk because they're playing tanks. Well, that's my first match for season four. I like it. I'm excited to try out all this new stuff. I'm probably going to be playing for the next couple hours and possibly making more videos that will go out on different days for you guys. I know it's probably quite confusing, but that's just how things work. First one in the day. There we go. Ten worshippers. Nice. That was really enjoyable. To be honest, there's the fantasy points. Finished 8 and 2 and the player damage. 17 fucking K. So we had top player damage. Didn't really do much structure damage. I played Hebo, okay? I did damage, I played Hebo. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on season 4 in the comments down below if you haven't already. I will see you all very soon. And as always, stay frosty.